say, Sean? Yeah. So you may know me as uh, Mitch on Facebook or uh, say Sean on YouTube or both if you know me really personally. Uh, we're going to be doing, well, I'm going to be doing a review, not an unboxing as I already got it, as I already have the locomotive out of the box. Um, you've probably already seen her run. But it's going to be the, uh, the Bravo Limited Class A locomotive, which I have out of the box already. So this is just the box. Literally, and I'm not kidding, it is about the same size as the 611 that I have. It's actually fairly close to it. But if you've known for a while, I actually have three Bravo Limited locomotives. Uh, the AC6000 I got for Christmas one year. Uh, my first one actually was, so I mean, this is the order that I got. Them. First was 611, then it was the AC6000, and then I got the Class A uh, fairly recently after I got my MTH locomotive. Uh, sadly, uh, I will be doing I would be doing a review of 1988, but unfortunately, the uh, the soundboard. Uh, snapped. I was running it with this, with this long, tr with this, this big train here. There's quite a few cars on it. Back now. It's out of the way for the review. And uh, we'll go ahead and put uh, 1232 on the track, which is the class A number. Smoking and it's already started up. But I don't run this locomotive with smoke as I'm down in my basement and it would probably set off the smoke alarms. Okay, so now the smoke unit's off. She's on the track. Okay, so now let's go ahead and, uh, and review this locomotive. I'm not going to start her up just yet, uh, but uh, I'm going to move the camera here. To just kind of take a look at it, as you can see. So we got, so the lights already on, all that. I think, yeah. If I'm, I mean, I can't see what the camera's looking at right now. So, um, yeah. So the light is on, as you can see. It's got pretty good detail for the lights and all that. I mean, this is a locomotive, just like all Broadway the locomotives. They've all got really amazing detail. Now, if you've seen. My review, I don't know if I did a review on my Atherton Genesis locomotive, I don't remember, it's been a while since I've done one, since I've done a review, uh, but that would be, I think that would be my latest review, uh, this, uh, for one of these trains, for one of my HO trains, anyway, uh, but we're gonna, but I'm gonna do my best to review this locomotive, uh, I'd like to give a shout out to, uh, what's the name, well, anyway, I have, uh, he knows who he is if he's watching the video, who uh, gave me this locomotive in a trade and also sold me all the freight cars, all of the matching freight cars for. Uh, actually, it was just supposed to be uh, these back here. It was just supposed to be these hopper cars. Where are they? Yeah, it was just supposed to be the hopper cars, starting from the black one here. And there's supposed to be that one all the way back, back there to the red caboose back there. But uh, he threw in these three extra box cars right there. Which was nice, so yeah, I, I thank you for that. I, uh, I've traded with him before. Uh, that's where I got uh, 8099 and 8103 from. Uh, same guy. Uh, the name escapes me because, yeah. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's, let's take a closer look at 1232. Sister to 1218, I guess. I don't know. Well, let's go ahead and sign off with the tender then. The tender, as you can see, it's got really nice detail. The words are uh, pretty clear for the, for how small they are. They're not for the camera, but I can read them, I think, maybe. Uh, let's see, we got... I'm not going to worry about reading it, but those are what the tender should be. Obviously, it's got the nice ladder here, which is plastic, like the rest of the train. Uh, it's got the metal wheels for uh, connectivity. It also has the wiring right down here to 
connect to allow the sounds to work and all that. As, and I've got the little footboard here. It's underneath the tender uh, only because it actually makes the engine run smoother on my layout for some reason. Uh, so I like it there, and that's where I that's where I keep it. So um, no objection to that. Uh, I'm gonna be moving on, but that's just that's just where I like the locomotive. That's just where I like that little footboard. It's just right there. You, you've probably seen it run around the track a few times with it there. You're probably wondering why is it down there. Well, the one reason why it's down there is because on this back corner, way over there, it, the the cab gets so far away from the tender that it just kind of flaps down and is like that for the rest of the layout. So I'd have to keep stopping it and moving it back up. Uh, or and take it and take the locomotive off and bend it and, and bend it in that way to where I can get it back up on there, but it won't stay up there for the whole layout. So I'd rather just keep it right there and not have to worry about it. Anyway, moving on, we've got the roof flap, which are a nice add-on. We actually have also two. We've got the fireman and uh, engineer in the cab, which is nice. And we have all, there is, there is crew talk on the locomotive. There is automatic crew talk and uh, just at certain speed steps and. All that it does come with smoke, uh, but I do not have it running with smoke, uh, only because I am in my basement, as you can see. And I would much rather not have uh, have the fire department call me and say, "Hey, your fire alarm went off," and I'm like, "Yeah, I know. I was down here when it went off, and all that." So anyway, no, it has not happened before. But my dad has set the our house alarm, and I've been down here, and it's gone off, and it is very annoying when it goes off because it's very loud as it should be. Anyway, back to the locomotive. Enough about what I'm talking about, which I have no idea what the heck I'm even talking about. I'm going to get my other screwdriver here so I can poke around here. But it's got, uh, uh so you got plastic railings. Uh, uh, yeah. But the frame, well, the frame and the shell are actually, uh, are, are metal. So this is actually a very, very heavy locomotive. Uh, the guy I got it from said it could pull up to 87 cars is what he pulled it with. I reckon it could probably pull more at ease, but uh, I mean, I've got a decent size layout, as you've probably seen in my other videos, when you guys were riding around on the Lego track and all that. Uh, Lego train that you parked over there, I've actually got it running again, amazingly. I have no idea how I did it, but uh, all they need really for those Lego trains is just to run. But, yeah, let's continue, continuing. Uh, this locomotive is a 2664. That's the wheel arrangement here. So we've got two wheels up in front. We've got six drive wheels here, another set of six drive wheels here, and then a set of uh, cab wheels here, which is four. And then if you counted the tender, it'd be a six, it'd be a six six, I guess. But that's not really that important. Uh, as you can, and it's got all these little foots. You know, and as most locomotives do, you can see they've got all there. With the uh, the footboard down all over there. Or I guess catwalk, I guess is what it would be called. And it goes all the way down the locomotive. All the way down to the front to the cow catcher. And then all the way back here to the cab. can't get into the cab from here, but uh, there is a tiny little window right there. Now, the one thing I do, I mean, the one thing that would be kind of nice in this locomotive is to have a cab light, and uh, I've seen a few HO locomotives, steam locomotives, that have a little red glow under here when you get, when you, when you uh, get them going. That would be the, this is the firebox down here. So it's kind of neat, and it's, does have, it's got to work, it's got a moving, movable bell. Don't know, it doesn't move when the bell actually rings. The bell, when the bell rings, it's actually quite a lot quicker than what it would be. But as you could probably see on most on most of the on most steam engines, the bell is actually all the way up in the front here, usually hanging down right here. But that's when it's back here on the Class A. Now the Class A locomotive in real life was mainly used by Norfolk and Western. Um, I have heard a few people say that it was used by that the Class A was also used by by CNO. Um, but mainly we affiliate the Class A with Norfolk and Western, just like the J. 
Like with GS4, you mainly think, oh, uh, south, uh, Southern Pacific. And so, and when some people think of heritage units, they instantly think of either NS, which would be Norfolk Southern, or Union Pacific. And uh, let's see, what else? Oh, yeah. Uh, this locomotive has a metal coupler on it. Um, I will go more into detail about the metal couplers about the about 1988 when I do that review. Uh, she's actually at the shop. She's actually not, I don't have her at all. I mean, she'd be sitting right here. This is where she would be. But as you can see, I do not have the box for her. So uh, she is out getting a new soundboard. As she is under warranty, so anyway, I'll explain more. Of, I'll explain more of what happened to her in her in in that review. Uh, let's keep going on this one then. Uh, this one's got the just obviously it's got the one light up in front, and then it also has the tender light in the back when you put the locomotive into reverse. And I guess I mean I'm not entirely sure why the Class A, why it was the Class A's and the Y6Bs that had this. Uh, I guess it was so they don't have to have cabooses in the back. I mean, I'm not sure. But, um, I think that was mainly just used for the, uh, for an extra guy as a, uh, so they could look behind the train and make sure the train's all together without, so that, and then radios don't have to be used as much, but whatever, you know, all the same. So, uh, there's really not a whole lot else to talk about, um, besides the fact that, uh, let's go ahead and start her up. crew talk and all that sorts of stuff.
close head and shut her down. the class A, but I've got, I think, about 24, 26 freight cars hooked up right now. I don't, I don't know. I, I, I didn't, I didn't count them really. Uh, I suppose I could. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and watch this, uh, watch it, uh, just kind of go down there and I'll stop it somewhere down there and that'll be the uh, end of the video. Uh, so you guys can uh, see moving and see how much it's pulling and kind of hear it from afar, all that. So let's go ahead and start it back up. Uh, in a minute here, I want to start it up. Right. I just had to check something on my on the time. Let's go ahead and get this locomotive started up, and uh, we'll send her out. This awesome Class A, number 1232, Norfolk and Western. chuffing gets more intense and uh, if it's going downhill it'll get it'll get kind of quieter or if it's just kind of going at a constant speed it'll be constant constant sound a constant chuff and obviously these two here and here those are obviously CNO but you know the same kind of style, so they work.
I changed my mind. I'll let her come back around here so you can guys can kind of see her all the way around the layout in a way. She's breaking so that she's kind of stays at that line at a certain speed. I'm just trying out the functions. about this locomotive or any other locomotive that I have, uh, I'll show you them. I've got, these are, these are, these two are Atherin RTR, uh, I think. 
Well, one came in a blue box, but you know. Uh, the AC6000, that's a Broadway Limited. The Big Boy is a River Rossi. The Challenger, which here, is a River Rossi. The GS4, number 4449, that's a Bachman. The 611 uh, Class J uh, is a, uh, or J-Class local, or J-Class, J, J-Class, I don't know. Anyway, uh, yeah, Class J, that's a Broadway Limited. Uh, the little 260 I have here, that's a Roundhouse model. Uh, these two don't really matter. Uh, and then I was in my Southern Pacific uh, Alcos, uh, A and B. They're both powered, uh, and they are Atherin RTR as well. And these cars are, uh, well, those are, uh, these are Atherin. And most of the NW Hopper cars you see there, uh, you, all of them are Roundhouse, and the caboose is Alice. So, with that, and obviously the Class A is Bryce Broadway Limited. And with that, this has been Sensation. Sign off for now. All aboard, guys. See ya.